Welcome back everybody, Easy here. We are in GB Elite. War started and we had not got what we really wanted. We got a kind of sorry ass squad to fight. A um, little disappointing for everyone. We wanted to, an elite, elite clan to fight. But uh, at the start of the war, we started looking up and down the lineup. We saw a couple of their attacks and, no and noticed uh, they're not very good. Putting up a pretty good fight so far for what they've got. I think this was the best attack in the first two hours. And you notice it was one of us on one of us. So we fast forward through this one. This is King Dad and Romper. Uh, great attack, really. We had tons of great attacks. Unfortunately, most of them were in our um, chat. <laughs> so the first, this first video, we, what I did in this first video is looked up and down the bottom part of the lineup. And we did get some good attacks off. I mean, the, you know, we had the, uh, the bottom of our lineup attacked the bottom of theirs. This is a very disciplined war so far. Um, we're literally going from bottom to top. As it is right now at this recording, we haven't attacked above number 35, I think. Uh, so, really good discipline. I, now, for, for me being the first war actually in this clan and watching how they do things, now we're getting a good idea um, from Damage Inc's perspective uh, as to how these guys got all these wins. And for anyone outside of the clans, I know a lot of guys in the clan are going to watch this, but anyone outside, let me, let me explain how you win in the eyes of GB Elite. You win by starting at the bottom and working your way to the top, period. They start off at the bottom, they don't waste attacks, the bottom of their clan, they literally say, okay, number 50's up, 50, 49, 48. And they go from the bottom, work their way up, have patience. Uh, you don't hear a bunch of bitching and moaning about from number 5 or 6 that who wants to attack right away. Which, which, you know, our guys don't, we don't complain about that either, but we don't have those rules in place either. So, uh, it takes a lot of discipline to, to start at the bottom with all these people that are on all the time. Uh, and, and just to watch everyone work their way to the top. Now, this attack right here, this is from Little Boss. Now, she might, must have taken, uh, I don't know, two and a half or three hours to plan this attack. <laughs> Maybe only two hours, I don't know. But, uh, great attack. She's a, what a weapon she is. Has a couple of accounts in the, in the clan. Um, she she reminds me of people in our clan too because she talks herself way down. She's terrible in her. If you listen to what she's saying, she's no good. She has to plan all this stuff out. But in reality, she just killed this base. Great attack. Great tactics. Good planning. Uh, this is a team effort. These guys are really good at the, at war, but they don't go out there on their own and just go in and attack these bases on their own. There's a lot of communication involved there's a lot of talking about who's doing what and how and that's what it takes to win it doesn't matter how good you are you still have to talk to each other you still have to plan things together so uh, this is a great example of how elite clans do things in a manner to make them uh, make them good they're not just good because they're all individually impressively good even though they are individually impressively good <laughs> that makes any sense okay so little boss with the three Next attack, um, I think we got a couple of the damage guys uh, for the next two attacks. And I'm not picking between, you know, which clan I'm, I'm going to take the videos on. This was just who, who had attacked at this point. Um, Romper is actually number 20, and he actually had to do something, I guess. So he jumped in and actually attacked way above everyone else. Uh, great attack. Uh, for anyone in our clan, we all know that he is a six-star machine. So um, he's only done this first attack so far. Um, this is using the flex. This is an attack that our clan uses a lot and and you're about to see why um, he, he does he's done this attack so many times. This is uh, he could I think he's literally fallen asleep and, and attacked sleeping uh, <laughs> And three started to sleep <coughs> Which I need to know how to do this stuff because I fall asleep in front of this computer too much I'm gonna get uh I'm going to get thrown out of my house and be homeless if I fall asleep in this chair one more time. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so just to recap on the flex a little bit. What that is, is, is a queen walk that starts off in one corner. A bowler walk that starts off in another corner. He's trying to keep the queen outside of the walls. Trying to keep the bowler outside of the walls. Then he goes into the core. He goes into the core with um, 
we call it wrecking ball it's, it's a kill squad but it's not really going after those specific uh, objectives it's going after the core of the base there's going after the whole meat of the core of the base and it's giants valkyries wizards and the, and the heroes or in the king and uh, so he takes out the core he still has the the queen going around the, around the outside um, romper stomp has got maxed heroes uh, for town hall 10 so he's got the level 40 heroes going around I think he's actually gone up above that now I'm, I, I can't you know how small the screen is it's literally four inches by four inches I can't work with something that small people uh, so as he goes around the bottom side of the space he's gonna wipe out these next few defenses really quick and then we'll get into the last one I believe the last one is Alm who is a co-leader from damage Inc and um, just because this war is so big that he is way down in the lineup he's down in the in the, in the lower 30s I believe So this is already recorded. I can't fast forward through it. It would, it would kind of mess up the other things I have going on. I'm not a, I'm not an expert um, at these videos. I do I've done a bunch of them. But I'm still learning. I've probably said that a hundred times. I think in every video. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Number 37 is Alm. And now he's gonna go in with the Gabaho, and that's Golems, Valkyries, and he's gonna finish up with the Hog Riders. Now uh, Hog Riders have got a pretty good buff uh, he uses them in the clan castle so they're gonna be max hog riders they uh, I apparently they weren't being used in the upper town hall levels and I, I can attest to that because I haven't really used them in town hall 10 much at all and matter of fact since the since the balloon up um, buff I've kind of stayed away from hog riders altogether because the balloons are so strong that it's hard for me to justify going to the ground uh, with the hog riders but they do have they did get a nice buff in the in the spring 2017 um, update whatever you call it and uh, better than ever so I think in the future you're gonna see more hog riders there's a lot of hog clans out there that that really rely heavily on the hog riders if you're if you're used to using them all the time maybe they haven't even tried to use the the Laloon attack uh, and, and so you'll still see a lot of hog rider attacks out there I mean, not necessarily from us because the balloons are so strong, but it's always good to have a backup plan Especially at Town Hall 9. Town Hall 9. There are so many good attacks out there uh, This seems to be just this plethora of three-star tactics for Town Hall 9 You have you know between the lot the Laloon and the Goho or the Govaho There's so many weapons in Town Hall 9 uh, verse of the Town Hall 9. So great attack by Alm Now I've already got um, The footage for the next video so we're going to get right into the next one here in about 10 minutes. I think I'm going to start actually doing the voiceover on it. I'm probably going to put out four videos on this war, which I know is a ton of coverage, but this is the first time we've ever done a combined war. So we're really excited about it. Kind of sucks that we didn't get an elite clan, but this is the first try. Hopefully we're going to have several more in the future. So um, still excited. Haven't got to do my attacks yet, but that, that's coming up. Not necessarily going to even record mine. Uh, we're only doing the best the best attacks that I see so that's not gonna necessarily be mine we all know that <laughs> so stay tuned for the next one appreciate everyone for watching if you haven't subbed to the channel yet sub to the channel we're trying to get up to 100 we're into the third month we're at 70 something subs so I appreciate that from everyone so until next time this has been easy take care everyone